Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Welcome back to another new video. So in this video, I'll show you guys on how to apply South Korea visa without any agent help, without any consultancies or travel agent, without anyone's help. I'll show you guys sitting at home. You can apply South Korea visa just by going to VFS Global, dropping your documents and getting your visa. So I'll explain this very short in a very short way, in a very simple way. I don't want to make this video too, too lengthy. So first of all, you will when your South Korea visa is approved, you get a printout like this, guys. So if you get a printout like this and carry to South Korea, that is enough. They are not going to give you a sticker visa. So let's start right from the beginning. So I sh I'll be sharing my screen and showing you guys on the steps that you need to follow to get a South Korean visa. But before that, I'll explain, I'll explain you guys some very basic things. So I stay in Bangalore and I want to apply for a South Korea visa. So first and the foremost thing is your passport should be at least six months valid and it should have two to three empty pages for them to put the seal and also uh, it would help in, in terms of putting a seal in immigrations. So the second thing is if you are in Bangalore, you do not need an appointment to VFS Global. You can just go to VFS Global between 10 to 3 I think you can confirm that on the VFS website. You can just walk in without appointment. They are going to let you in. They are going to validate the documents and they will send it to Chennai because the, the closest embassy for Bangalore is Chennai. So they will be sending that application form to Chennai and once the visa is approved, they will courier back. There are two options. They will courier back to your home if you opt for the courier or if you choose for hold it location, they will be sending that courier to Bangalore VFS office where you can go and collect it. In my case, if I am not at home, I would choose the second option. So choose your option wisely because if the courier is dispatched, if you're not at home, it will be returned back to Chennai. It will not be given to Bangalore. So please remember that always better to choose hold it location at Bangalore VFS office. So once your visa is approved, you will get an email from Chennai. So it would roughly, it took roughly for me around 15 to 20, say 25 days, minimum three weeks. So if you're planning, let's say now uh, I'm, I'm shooting this video on, on April first week. So if you're going on um, July first week, this is the right time. May, June, July, right? So it is, if you're going in June, this is the right time to apply for visa, apply your South Korea visa, minimum two months in advance. And South Korean visa, the documentation has to be spot on because the rejection rate of South Korean visa for Indians has been lately very high. So please keep it in mind, do not try to submit any fake documents or try, do not try to submit any forged documents. Try to keep the documents as, as authentic or as neat as possible. It will really help your track record in some in terms of visas to South Korea and also in VFS Global. So remember these points It's very simple. Now I'll take you right to my screen. I'll be sharing my screen and explaining you guys the rest of the process as I do not want to waste any more time. Guys, I hope you can see my screen. So when you just come to Google, uh, just type South Korea visa and then you will see uh, so welcome to South Korea visa application center. Yeah, I think this is the one. Yes, you can see uh, You can see KVAC here. Let's say Korea visa application center and uh, you have to click on apply for a visa And then when you want to identify your visa, this video is solely meant for tourism purpose only So you can just select temporary visit and then it is going to give you an overview visa fees documents required photo specifications processing time and download forms so let's go this one by let's go on this one by one guys because this is very important and i hope you watch this video till the end for you to gain maximum information about this video so let's go to documents required and let's click on sightseeing tour for tourist visa and when you when you select click here yeah, so let's go through the checklist first. The checklist is very simple. Original passport with more than six months validity. Recently taken to passport size colored photographs. Uh, this has to be, uh, we'll come to the photo specifications in a minute. And duty filled online visa form, which I'm going to show you in a minute. And occupation proof or employment proof. This is, this is very much indeed. So if you are working as an IT employee like me, let's say you're working in Infosys as an example. So you have to show your verification of employment from Infosys. So if you email the HR or if you go to your HR portal, you will have your verification of employment and that is required. And most of the countries that have gone to ask three months payslips, but uh, looking at South Korea is asking for one year payslips. So you need one year payslips, but if you have changed your job in the last six months, 
then you will have to show your offer letter six months of pay slips and your previous six months of pay slips so please keep this in mind even if you have changed the job like three months before but before that you will have to submit six months and after your job change one or two months along with the offer letter you will have to provide your pay slips and photocopy of income tax return for the last two years so basically your IT, ITR statement you have to give it for the last two years usually people ask for three years but they have just asked for last two years in case of ownership please submit income tax return so if you own like uh, if you own a shop or if you have a startup or if you have a if you are into business you'll have to pro probably produce your income tax proprietor statement so uh, i'm really not sure about this because i don't have a business and recent bank statement this is common for everyone and this is six months of bank statement it should be signed and sealed by your branch manager so if you walk into the bank and tell them you need six months uh, six months bank statement for your visa they will they will come to know and they will sign and give it for you and company registration copy like if you are into business again I'm not into business but if you are into business you need to provide your TIN number and company registration copy a business profile again this is business profile and health health condition form I'll just come back to this because it's in the home page and visa normally um, you get charged around 3200 rupees BFS charges 1380 and uh, you have courier charge of 550 rupees if you opt for courier if you do not opt for courier then you can do a, do a hold at location if you are in chennai or the, if you are in chennai because south korea visa closest to bangalore is in chennai and you can go collect it in the embassy you can avoid this 550 rupees so this is about the checklist guys it's very straightforward and along with this i also what i also suggest is carry a cover letter and carry a day-to-day -day itinerary that is going to help your chances of visa getting approved a lot now if you just come uh, come uh, to download forms and if you click on the visa application form so let me click on the visa application form I think it's in Korean we might have to translate it yes so just click on English uh, guys so just click on fill out the e-form and then um, if you can see diplomatic office so this diplomatic office I think would it's not required but i'm just seeing if this is actually needed okay let's enter india i don't remember doing this so yes okay so you have uh, three uh, embassies basically you have one in chennai one in uh, i don't know where this is and one in mumbai so the nearest to bangalore would obviously be in chennai and you would choose chennai and the purpose of entry would be tourism transit that is it would be for tourism and status of stay would be tourist transit uh, that is b-2 and do you have inviting do you have an inviting company no and you can just see you can just click on and select your photo here and full name in english as given in your passport guys so if you have a chinese name you can fill that as well most indians don't and date of birth and nationality this everything looks straightforward country of birth looks straightforward have used another nickname no no this would be no confirmation number this is not needed for us only you can fill those are which are in star red star, red star. so passport classification regular passport because most of us are regular but if you have a special category of passport you can definitely choose that and passport number expiry date country of issue date of issue everything is very straightforward you will find it in your passport do you have any other valid passport answer would be no because everyone as far as i know will have only one one passport contact details you give your home address again when you're giving home address or telephone number or email please give the ones which are in passport that is address is very important do not give any other address and then if it mismatches in the passport your visa might get rejected because south korean visa there is a lot and lots of rejection for indians and you can just select a full name in english country of resident phone number and click on next so if you if you click on next you will get a small acknowledgement where you'll have to confirm and then submit your visa application form so once this is done guys like i told in my beginning of my video you will just have to go walk into bangalore vfs office and then submit it no appointment is needed for south korea so you can walk in anytime i think it's between 10 to 3 anytime you can walk in please note chennai holidays because if chennai embassy is closed they will not accept bangalore applications in bangalore as well so you have to go by chennai holidays because chennai has separate holidays at least two to three separate holidays when compared to that of bangalore so please check that and then because when i went it was a chennai holiday then i had to come back and go again so please do not make Make that mistake uh, when you're visiting 
so if you click on the declaration form there's another declaration form you will have to give yeah this is another declaration okay travel agent applicant represent yeah this is a declaration form you'll have to submit as well this is again very straightforward if the travel agent is applying for your applicant or representative's name this is uh, this is straightforward guys so type of visa what kind of visa you want single entry 90 days is most preferred and you have front back and you have old passport as well with you that's good uh, then you have you are from karnataka so they, it will be chennai consulate you can see tamil nadu kerala karnataka puducherry andhra pradesh it has to go to chennai consulate because it's very close by geographically so once you do all of these things carry only hard copies with you guys do not carry soft copies or do not carry any mobile confirmations uh, take this application print out take the declaration pdf print out carry with the application forms to to the bangalore vfs global and then drop it they will verify the documents and they will they will accept the money it's come close to around 4000 to around 4500 rupees that's pretty much it so submit all the documents and then you can uh, you can wait uh, till you get a mail and once you get a mail you will have uh, a download portal uh, you uh, you will have a download portal where you can go and download your korean visa so let's see uh, you know if i can actually find it download load so download so of visa yeah i think you have to go here uh, i've never tried this i don't remember so i got it as a courier so i got the print out as a courier so i think you can um, you can download your visa from here guys so that should not be an issue so you can just check the application oh yeah you can just check the application status uh and print you can check the application status the passport number and you then if if it is if it is eligible you will definitely be able to take a print out and then directly go to south korea again there is no uh, visa sticker visa guys there is only a print out which i showed in the beginning of my video still if you have any questions you can definitely reach out to me on instagram for immediate response follow me and then reach out to me because i'm not getting notified and comment in the comment section i'll i'll try to respond to you guys as soon as possible i hope this video was very helpful i'll see you guys in my next video